In this demo, we're going to show how to set up file and folder read permissions um, within a component. Files and folders uh, inherit the read permissions from the component. So if you have access to a component in a particular workspace or in a particular stream, then you can access any file and folder uh, in that component in that workspace or stream. In the setup that I'm going to uh, demo, um, we have one project area, demo 4.0 beta, and two team areas, one, business, one named business department, the other one named engineer department. And in this demo, I'm going to show how we can set one folder to be only visible to members of the business department team area, and another folder uh, in the same component to be only visible to be to members of the team area engineering department. What I'm going to show is uh, uh, I'm using the Eclipse client first, and this is also available from the you can access, set uh, read access permissions for files and folders through the Eclipse client the Visual Studio client and the uh, command line interface. So to get started, um, you're going to bring up the repository files view from a component. So you, I'm, in my case, I'm starting from the pen in changes view. I have a workspace and the component showing up. I'm right clicking on the component. I'm selecting show repository files. And that brings up the repository files view. And now I can navigate through the folders and files in this component. What I want to achieve is I want to set some read access rights on the two, uh, two folders here, business and engineering. So I want the business folder to only be accessible to people from the business department team area. I right click on that folder and I select this new action, change access control. This brings up the uh, select read access permission dialog. And by default, the uh, permission is set to component, which means that everyone who has access to that component has access to this, uh, to this folder. Uh, we have two other possibilities. I can either set, uh, I can either scope the read access to that folder to uh, myself or to another contributor that I would pick through the uh, uh, user picker. Or uh, the case that I'm going to demo here, I can set it to be governed by a particular project area or team area. So everyone who has access to that project area or team area will have read access to that resource. So I'm clicking Browse. And I'm going to pick um, the business department. The checkbox, Apply to Shell Files and Folders, is set on by default. So that means the read access permission that I'm setting here will be applied uh, to all the children. So the repository files view now decorates the uh, business folder with a business department decorator, which means that uh, now this folder can only be uh, uh, accessed by people who, have, who are members of the uh, business department. So I am a member of the uh, business department team area, so I can actually see that folder myself. The uh, other thing I want to do is set the um, scope, the read access permissions on the engineering folder and uh, its, uh, its, its children. So I right click, I select the engineering folder, right click, change access control, pick the project or team area option, and uh, I pick the team area that I want to uh, scope the read access permissions to, so engineering department. And you can see now the, uh, these uh, folders are scoped, uh, like I've said, and I can expand and I can see that the children also have these, uh, these permissions set as well. So to uh, show that uh, really is the case, uh, I am going to uh, use a different client. So I'm going to go through the web UI and I'm going to pretend to be Michael. So Michael is a member of the business department team area. But Michael is not a member of the engineering department. So I am expecting that Michael will not be able to see the engineering folder. To go to the copy to the um, web UI from um, to web UI from here, I'm going to um, uh, open the stream uh, that contains this component. And uh, I'm going to uh, right click on here and copy URL. And that gives me a shortcut to uh, go into the web UI. So I'm passing the URL to that stream that contains the component 
uh, that uh, I have set read access permissions on its children folders. I'm right clicking and, and I'm going to log in as micro, not as myself. And now I can see uh, the, uh, the stream that I have uh, browsed to. I'm going to go into the component and I can see uh, the top folder, which is uh, accessible to anyone who has access to the demo component. And I go inside, I only see one folder. I only see the business folder. I don't see the engineering folder. So Michael can see that there is one folder business, but doesn't see that there is a folder engineer. And uh, that is precisely what I had set here. So this is working. Uh, uh, the, this is showing the rules, the read access rules uh, uh, working. The um, same things can be set through the Microsoft Visual Studio uh, client. So in this case, I have switched to the uh, Rational Team Concert client for Visual Studio. And um, in this case, through a team artifact, the same, I can do something similar. I can pick a component, for example, under my workspace here. I can right click on the component and I can open the repository files view. This opens up the repository files view and uh, the same thing, I could change the permissions here so I can select business, change access control and I could set it back to be public for example. So you can manage read access permissions from the uh, Eclipse client, Visual Studio client, and the command line interface. For the command line interface, uh, you will here's an example of how to do that. So uh, first, you can check which uh, what are the read access uh, set for a particular file. Uh, so you use the uh, this command here: lsem property get jazz dot read access, and then the uh, the path to the file. And uh, the output of the comment tells you that uh, this, uh, this particular file that you have selected is, uh, is public. That means that its permissions come from the component itself. And uh, to change the, uh, the uh, access to, to change the, um, the read access permissions to that file, you will use this uh, command here: lsem change access, the name of the file, and the, uh, the scope. So in this case. And in this example, we're setting the, uh, the scope to be the governed to be by, by the project area named project area one. And then you can run again the command one more time, the get uh, jazz read access command. And uh, it show, now shows that this file has read access set scope to the project area one. That is for the command line interface tool. And uh, that's it for um, permissions on files and folders.